Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use military discount at Home Depot. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now for you to use or get the military discount on Home Depot, what we need to do first is we need to make sure that we have an account. Now typically on the Home Depot website, which is going to be homedepot.com, at the top right, you should be able to see the lock in icon. In this case, go ahead and click on it and just click on either sign in or register. Now if you don't have an account yet, you can go and choose register here and you just need to choose what, what type of account you want to use. Now, and since you are, or if you want to use it for personal use, you could go and choose personal account here. But if you're buying for your business, go ahead and choose pro extra account. But in this case, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, you can only use uh, the military discount for personal account. So let's go and click on select and continue. Now, in this case, just provide all the desired details here. That includes the email address, your password, as well as the phone number that you want to use for account. Now, once you provide all those details, just click on create an account and a one-time code or a uh, pin or a verification code will be sent to your email like this one. So you need to copy that and paste it on the next page here to verify your account. Now, once you verify your account, you should be locked in into your account. But since I already have my account, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Let's go and click on log in, sign in. And from here, let's go and provide our email address. Click on continue. And from here, you will be receiving a verification code. So let's just wait for it to appear. But once it's actually there, let's go and open up the email itself. Let's go and copy the one-time code here. And from here, let's go and paste it into the verification code section. Click on verify. Now, once logged in, we should now be able to start accessing the military page or the military discount page for Home Depot. Now, for you to access that, all you need to do is you need to go to the URL section here. So in this case, just type in exactly what I'm going to actually type in, which is going to be a forward slash here. Type in military and just press on enter. Now, this will automatically redirect you to the military discount page for Home Depot, as you can see right now. In this case, you could go ahead and scroll down a bit here and look for military discount here and click on get started. Now, once you click on it, it should redirect you to another page. In this case, it's going to, again, ask you to sign in if you haven't signed in yet. In this case, since I'm already signed in, it's going to show me the military discount benefit section. In this case, there are going to be a few FAQs here, like for example, who is eligible for a military discount that includes Army, Navy, Air Forces, and many more. Now, in this case, who is not eligible, so in this case, if you're not eligible, to receive military discount, so non-spouse or dependents, or active military and veterans, so these are the discharged veterans and non-military members. Also have the military spouses here, so are they eligible for this one? Yes, they are eligible for this one. So if your spouse and looking for the uh, military discount here, you can go ahead and apply it uh, in this section here. Now, how do you enroll for a military discount? You can go ahead and click on the military discount benefit link here, or you could just click on the get started button at the very top here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what you need to do is we just need to wait for it to actually load up the application. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes for you, but in this case, when it's actually available, it's going to ask you a few questions here. Like for example, are you a military member or are you a spouse? What is your current status right now? And what is your first name, your branch of service, your last name, your email address, your date of birth. And from here, once you provide all the details, just click on verify here and that would submit your details and they will verify your military uh, uh, discount which in this case this might take a few hours or a few days so let's just wait you could go and just wait for it to verify yourself but once you verify that it's going to actually automatically apply all the items that is eligible for a um, military discount and from then on you should be able to enjoy your discounts just going back in here so just to give you an idea we're going to go back into the faq page here so in this case how do you actually use it so again so to use it online you need to log into your account on homedepot.com like what we did before and you'll see the military discount automatically applied on eligible items in cart during checkout so you won't have to do anything here so as long as your account that you use for the uh, military discount which is in this case, the one you logged in with, uh, it's going to automatically apply the discount on your items that is eligible. So not all items are eligible for that. So only specific items. And in this case, if you want to use it in store, you need to go to the checkout register, scan your virtual ID from the Home Depot app, or enter the phone number you registered with the Home Depot account. So your military discount will be applied to eligible items during checkout. So there are two ways for you to start using or start using the uh, Home Depot uh, discount for military. 
So yeah, so in this case, if you want to read more regarding the military discount here, you could go ahead and scroll down into the FAQs or if you have any questions, this is where you'll be able to get it. Now, by the way, if you're having issues, if I'm not mistaken, you could actually go to a specific link here, which is going to be the share ID link, which in this case is going to be the one actually verifying your military service. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.